of CE2C, the preamble to the Constitution. The preamble is simply important because it's the intro of the Constitution and it basically tells why our Constitution was written. And it begins with these words that you do need to know should I ever ask what document begins with we the people, blah, blah, blah. We the people of the United States do ordain and establish a constitution for the United States of America. Basically outlining and saying, hey, we met here in a hot summer of Philadelphia. We met to originally revise the Articles of Confederation. But after we all came together, we decided actually to completely redraft a new document, which is the Constitution. These carefully chosen words make clear that the power of the government come directly from the people. And you have to remember that under England, the power of government did not come from the people. Okay, The power of government came from the king. By divine rights, the idea that God gave the king and the royal family power to rule. Okay, So the six goals and purposes of the Constitution are outlined here. To form a more perfect union, to establish justice, to ensure domestic tranquility, to provide for a common defense, to promote the general welfare, and to secure the blessing of liberty. Let's go through each one of these real quick, if it would move. To form a union, the goal was to unite all 13 separate states. I told you that the articles were flawed because they were unable to unify all 13 separate states together as one. There were problems raising money. There were problems regulating trade. There were problems passing laws. Remember, we needed to come together to join together as one, a solid foundation of a union of a federal government. Okay? To form a union. Of course, the original were just right there. To establish justice, another flaw in the Articles was there was no national court system. Every state had their own laws, their own court system, therefore it was chaotic. So we needed to create a system where all people would be treated fairly, no matter if they lived in New England or if they lived in the southern states, such as Georgia. Establish justice, Judge G. To ensure domestic tranquility. Domestic, great way of thinking that is like uh, domestic at home, like a domestic, uh, if an animal is domesticated, that means that an animal can be housebroken, it can live in a home, it's not wild anymore. Okay, a domestic worker is someone who works in the home. Okay, so again, we wanted to keep peace here, not only from foreign invaders, from factions in our own country. We wanted to spread out factions as best we could amongst all the areas. So it's small little pockets of minorities rather than large groups coming together. Domestic peace. Of course, the military takes care of that. To provide defense, that goes along with what we just saw there. Remember, one of the major problems uh, during the Revolutionary War was finding troops to fight, raising militias. Uh, many people were loyalists. They're Tories. They didn't want to fight. Maya Therefore, to the one of the goals was Maya to provide Bobby defense. To the we needed office. a Thank national you. defense. Sorry about that. And I'm not going to stop this. We needed a national defense to protect the 13 states united under one federal supreme government. Okay? Defense. Think military. Fighting. Defense. Don't let them score against you. To promote the general welfare is another one before I jump ahead. The idea, the general welfare, welfare is like good for all, the well-being of everyone. So to promote the well-being of everyone, we have various things in place. Some might argue, and of course these are contentious items, whether it's social security, welfare in general, food stamps, etc., public services. All those are created supposedly for the common good of welfare, environmental policy, regulation, offshore oil drilling, things like that. Rules are made by our government to supposedly, as some would argue, promote the general welfare. And finally, a very broad, kind of another fancy word, we've done this, to secure the blessings of liberty. Liberty is a fancy word for freedom. Statue of Liberty, you come to New York Harbor, that statue represents freedom. What our country represents, the freedom of escaping persecution in other countries, whether it was Europe, or nowadays, whether it's somewhere in the Middle East, or in a communist ruled country like China. People come here for liberty, freedom. So, I hope you enjoyed today's short presentation, CE 
to see the goals of the preamble, the outlining of why we've written this document, beginning with we the people, and those fundamental goals here that I just went through. Thank you so much.